grace, power, ministry, and love. Incline your ears to wisdom and your hearts to understanding. Receive the word of God according to knowledge. Welcome to preach. To preach. To preach. Be a voice, not an echo. Join Minister Chantrell for today's message. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. I'm Ambassador Chantreau Davis. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to deliver dreams. Today is April the 18th of 2017, and it is 11 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I'm going to go right into this. Uh, I'm going to read a couple of scriptures first and then uh, the remaining scripture after. John 13. Uh, 19. Now I tell you before it come to pass that when it come to pass, you may believe that I am he. Uh, Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. And that's the spiritual, physical ministry that's, that goes a long way. Second Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the messages of God and despised their words until the wrath of the Lord arose, until there was no remedy. First John 4 and 6. He that knoweth God heareth us and he that is not of God heareth us not. OK, Ezekiel 33, 33. And when this come to pass, lo, and it will come to pass. They shall know that a prophet has been among them. OK, I'm going to go right into this dream. And this vision I had on uh, April the 12th of 2018, I just named it, which it may change when I load it up on YouTube. Death and mudslides, mountainous region and large tree roots washed away. I saw very large tree roots washed away. I'm going to read here a little bit verbatim and I'll describe what I saw. In this dream, I was shown various places. I was. I was. He usually moves me about and I'm always from the air. And then anyone who follows these channels enough, when he decides to put me in that place, so I experience it a little too. Ugh, he does. And, and all while I'm looking on, I still can't get used to that. In the places first, I saw that they were very large, and I mean large. When I say large, the roots looked like they was about this thick. Something that you would see from a really deep wooded tree. I mean, they was this wide. You know, like you see the ones coming out of the ground, but they were like dark, dark brown, this wide. And you could see the slight curve to them, but they were broke up. They were no longer big tree roots. They were broken, but they were thick, broken tree roots. Okay, some of them were twisted, broken tree roots, and I knew they were roots, and they were darkened. Which tree? They were darkened. And um, um, darkened to where they almost looked black, but they were tree roots. They were on this bank and they began, there was heavy, heavy rains. And there was these tree roots that you could tell rains had beat down and roots were exposed and the roots were going over the cliff. Wherever these houses were, some of them were off cliffs. Some of them were off lower level hills by, and it was rivers, you know, kind of Russian rivers and some were on cliffs. And these were the different scenes I was being shown and the water was beaten down and roots were washing over the cliffs. And I can see this very clear into the rivers. Okay. Roots were washing away. And it was these one houses that were at the clear end of the cliff. Okay. There were mud slides. It was this one that was very graphic. Mud had come into this home. I mean, so graphic. And the people were closed in. For some reason, there were some people who survived. And I don't know how this would be. They went in. But I saw this woman. She had mud coming out of her mouth, mud coming out of her nose. And this was very graphic. I saw this. She was suffocated by mud. And I saw this very clear. This woman looked like she was of Asian or Filipino descent. It doesn't mean she was in that region. But I kid you not. She was Asian or Filipino descent. That's what she looked like. And her mouth was open and mud was coming out. She had been suffocated by the mud. Very clearly, I saw this. And I was shown scene after scene after scene. And as I was taken to this last house, which happened before I woke up, these people, and these people were black. It, I saw all nationality of people. I kid you not. Their house was near this cliff. And they were looking at all this rain pounding. And it's like as they went to the window, at this point I'm looking on, and I'm starting to see whoever this woman was next to this man, I was seeing through her eyes while I was still looking on. And they went to look out the window. And as they looked out the window, I saw what they saw. It was this bank. And you could see trees over this river that was out of their window. They had a very beautiful view. And you could tell it would be a beautiful view because this river down low. And trees hanging over it and kind of going across it. And then over here you could see rain pounding on this surface. And these black tree roots were falling over into this river. And when they went to look out, and they were looking and they were speaking about how the rain was coming, 
at that point, they noticed the very place where they were, the coastline gave and the house began to tumble over into the very violent river they were looking at. And at that point, I was watching and I was put in the woman's place at the same time. So I saw through her eyes while I watched. I kid you not. And as they went, they could not flee. The house tumbled over into the crashing river. Rivers, houses going off into rivers and off coastlines through erosion and roots being, roots coming up and being washed away. That's why I woke up and that's the end of the dream. I'm going to end with the scripture I always end with. Matthew 10 and 27, what I tell you in darkness that speak you in light and what you hear in the ear that's preach you on the housetop. That's what I'm doing today. Acts 2 and 17 through 18. And it shall come into those days that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters will prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And upon your servants and handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they will prophesy. Malachi, uh, return unto the Lord. And he will return unto you, all yours, those who don't know you. Acts 13 and 19, repent therefore so that you may be converted and your sins may be blotted out and you may be saved. Uh, I'm going to read warning the wicked according to Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9. I'm warning the righteous according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. You will read that on your own time. Do the work that is required of you. Take this dream before the Lord. I'm telling y'all there will be erosion. There will be mudslides. There is a uprooting of tree roots, which is very symbolic. And I believe this is also literal. Take these dreams before the Lord. Uh, I have another one to come that's a lot deeper about spiritual gifts and things that's coming in it because it keeps showing forth in dreams. And I'm going to share it. Grace be with you. And I love you all. Thank you for joining us today on Preach. Be a voice, not an echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.